Look away, Meghan Markle. Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy was literally at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank, so yeah, you could say it was probably kind of awkward. Sure, she and her former boyfriend haven't been together in eight years, but running into an ex is never fun no matter how long it's been. The 32-year-old arrived with Harry's close friends Charlie Van Strawbenzi and his wife, Daisy, Eugenie recently went to their wedding, wearing a sheer navy dress with matching pumps. Clearly, that's her go-to color because she also donned a navy blue frock during Harry and Meghan's wedding. At the time, Chelsea was slammed on Twitter for showing up to her ex's nuptials. Even if your ex does invite you to their wedding, why would you take your ten toes and go? One user asked. Another added, my question will always be why the hell did she show up? And a third chimed in, I don't think I would have gone to my ex's wedding if I was gonna be like Chelsea. Harry and Chelsea dated from 2005 to 2010, and back in 2016, she opened up about why they never made it down the aisle. It was so full-on, crazy, and scary, and uncomfortable, she told The Times. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope. It seems like Meghan is also having a difficult time coping with the spotlight, though. A source previously told Life and Style, she loves Harry, but when it comes to life as a royal, she's lately been asking herself, how will I get through this? A separate source added, Meghan has felt like her every move was criticized as she attempted to adapt to royal life. She's been in desperate need of some time off. The Duchess of Sussex stepped out for her first solo engagement as a royal today, and she also marked a very important anniversary. A year ago today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their first public appearance together at a wheelchair tennis match at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Markle's former home base. Prior to that, the only confirmation we had of their romance was a statement from Kensington Palace in November 2016. The first official photos of the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex out together were filled with adorable PDA, cheeky smiles, and genuine warmth. Harry and Meghan looked besotted with one another, and they still do. For Meghan, in particular, the past year has been filled with dramatic changes. Back in September 2017, Meghan was still an actress on Suits and a resident of Toronto, where the show filmed. She still had an Instagram account which she used regularly, and her lifestyle blog, The Tig. She was also a Twitter user, and regularly posted photos of her friends, vacations, and work life on social media. But on November 21, 2017, Meghan's normal life changed forever when it was reported that the future Duchess had officially moved to London. At the same time, it was reported that she finished all of her filming commitments on Suits, and was moving to England permanently. Days later, on November 27, 2017, Meghan and Harry announced their engagement. The news was revealed on Kensington Palace's social media accounts, along with a photo from the couple's first public appearance together at the Invictus Games just two months earlier. Later that same day, Meghan and Harry spoke to the BBC about their plans to marry, and it was already clear the actress' life had changed dramatically, and that really loves Prince Harry. The very next day, on November 28, 2017, the USA Network revealed that Meghan would officially be leaving Suits at the end of Season 7. Breaking with royal tradition, Meghan spent Christmas with the royals, proving that she was already considered a part of the family. The Queen reportedly waived her rule regarding only spouses attending the festive celebrations, allowing Meghan to attend as Harry's fiancé. Shortly after Christmas, in early January 2018, Meghan deleted her online presence, including lifestyle website The Tig, her Instagram, and her Twitter account. As she was about to officially join the royal family, she appeared to be making more of her personal life private, in keeping with her soon-to-be husband's own practices. Excitement about the royal wedding consumed the first few months of 2018, with Meghan and Harry tying the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19. In a custom Givenchy gown, Meghan officially became the Duchess of Sussex. The former actress incorporated many American touches into the royal wedding, 
signaling that she has not forgotten her heritage. Almost a month after the royal wedding, Meghan made her very first solo outing with Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry's grandmother. The duo appeared to get along very well, and their outing, without any other members of the royal family, showed the immense amount of faith the royals already had in Meghan. A slew of royal events later, Meghan is attending her first solo event as a royal, exactly one year after she first stepped out publicly with Prince Harry. With her and Harry's first royal tour due to star next month, during which they'll travel to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, it's clear that the Duchess of Sussex's life will continue to evolve rapidly. But her first year in the royal spotlight proves Meghan will handle every new change with aplomb. Meghan Markle is undeniably the most popular woman in the world right now. Since her wedding to Prince Harry in May her popularity has only continued to climb, with the former actress proving an even bigger hit with the public than her husband. Last week, together, the charity cookbook for Grenfell survivors in which Meghan wrote a foreword, skyrocketed to the top of bestseller lists not just in Britain but across the globe. But while the admiration for Meghan makes her a force for good, it also creates a unique problem, how will the Duchess of Sussex's popularity affect her marriage? Unfortunately, the royal family doesn't have a great track record of successful marriages when the wife is more liked than the husband. Harry's father Prince Charles grew increasingly jealous of the attention Princess Diana received and made no secret of it during the final years of their marriage. Queen Elizabeth's cousin Lady Elizabeth Anson told People magazine Charles realized early in his marriage to Diana that he would be in her shadow. Diana, sort of metamorphosed into a very, very elegant blonde beauty, she said. They did a visit to Wales which was the beginning of, for Prince Charles, realizing, they've come out to see my wife, they haven't come out to see me. When their marriage eventually broke down, the Princess of Wales' popularity would be seen as the reason why Charles went back to his mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles. During their separation, Prince Philip wrote to Diana and accused her of not understanding that her role as Charles' wife involved much more than simply being a hero with the British people. Can you honestly look into your heart and say that Charles's relationship with Camilla had nothing to do with your behavior towards him in your marriage? Philip wrote in another letter. Meghan's situation is arguably more precarious than Diana because she was already a star in her own right before meeting Harry. The 37-year-old played popular character Rachel Zane in legal drama suits and had more than 2 million followers on social media thanks to her lifestyle blog The Tig. She can also give Harry a run for her money in the humanitarian stakes, previously working as a global ambassador for World Vision in 2016 and giving a speech on gender inequality for International Women's Day for UN Women in 2015 at the organization's headquarters. So how will Meghan balance her popularity with her marriage? According to body language expert Judy James, Meghan has already begun taking subtle steps not to outshine her husband. During the weeks after their engagement, Meghan was seen often leading the way when walking and steered their first joint TV interview but since their marriage this has changed, claims M's James. Now Meghan is more likely to be seen allowing herself to be towed along if they're holding hands or standing slightly behind him. Once they were married though royal protocol kicked in, while a constant scene-stealing parade from Meghan could have alienated the public and her husband, M's James told the Daily Mail. Unlike his dad, Harry is a lovable royal star with his own strong fan base. He's also served with the military so taking a more compliant role might have caused ego and status problems. But the litmus test will be Meghan and Harry's tour of Australia next month, a place where the prince has always had a massive fan base. It will be interesting to see if crowds jostle for Meghan instead of Harry and whether the Duchess of Sussex will embrace the spotlight or shrink from it. Oh, <laughs> my